Prince Andrew is set to play a prominent role at Prince Philip's memorial service at Westminster Abbey today, a royal expert has claimed. Prince Andrew, 62, is set to return to the public spotlight despite paying millions out of court earlier this month to settle a civil sexual assault case. He will arrive alongside his daughters Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie and their husbands Eduardo Mabelli Mozzi and Jack Brooksbank. Royal expert Robert Jobson has claimed Andrew will be supporting the Queen. Speaking to GB News, Mr. Jobson said, I think Prince Andrew may play a more prominent role than we think. My understanding is someone has to support the Queen and he might be at her side. I think Charles will probably be with Camilla. In a way, we'll have to see if that happens, I know. It's certainly been discussed. Royal commentator Camilla Tomini said Duke of York traveled from Windsor to London with his mother after Buckingham Palace announced she would indeed attend the service. The Duke of Edinburgh will be remembered as a man of rare ability and distinction at a poignant memorial service featuring elements he planned for his own funeral which were forbidden due to COVID-19 restrictions. It is understood some of Philip's older great-grandchildren may attend, giving the youngest generation of royals the chance to honor their much-loved great-grandfather. Missing gestures from Philip's pre-pandemic arrangements will see Gold Duke of Edinburgh's award holders and members of the Youth UK Cadet Force Association's line the steps of Westminster Abbey as guests arrive. The Duke's express wishes for the congregation to join and sing the rousing hymn Guide Me, O Thou Great Redeemer, and for the clergy from Windsor, Sandringham, and Balmoral to play a special part will finally be granted on Tuesday. Prayers will be said for the Duke's gifts of character, for his humor and resilience. His fortitude and devotion to duty by the chapel's royal sub, Dean, while his energy and spirit of adventure and strength and constancy will be heralded by royal estates clergy, known as the Queen's domestic chaplains. Philip had an active role in the day, too, day management of the estates for many years. He wanted the minister of Crathy Church near Balmoral, the rector of Sandringham, and the chaplain to the Royal Chapel of All Saints, Windsor Great Park to take part in his funeral. But the farewell to Philip in St. George's Chapel last April was limited to just 30 people in the midst of the pandemic and mass singing was banned, with the Queen sitting alone in a mask. Eleven months on, the royal family including the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall, and the Cambridges will gather as part of a 1,800-strong congregation for a Thanksgiving service in the Duke's honour. The Queen is still hoping to lead her family at the high-profile and personally significant occasion for her beloved late husband. Although the monarch, who has faced mobility issues, is mentioned in the order of service, Buckingham Palace is expected to confirm on Tuesday morning whether or not she will be able to attend. The 95-year Old head of state pulled out of the Commonwealth Day service earlier this month due to comfort issues and has spoken about not being able to move.